Hello students, Sairam. Welcome to your science class. Today we are going to begin with a new chapter that is chapter number 13, Fun with Magnets of your NCT science, NCRT science textbook. You all know what is magnet. Many of you might have seen it, played with it and have understood what it is used for. In this chapter, we are going to learn more fun facts about magnets. Observe the image here, on which I have shown you on the screen. Here, a boy and a girl, girl, they are holding magnets in their hands. You can see the magnets are straight in shape as they can be called as magnetic bars. If you observe properly, and N and S are marked on these magnets. That means they indicate the North Pole and South Pole of the magnets. That means magnets have two poles. If you see here, North Pole and South Poles are getting attracted towards each other. That means in a magnet, opposite poles attract each other and same poles repel each other. These are the key points about the magnets which most of you have already learnt in previous classes. So the magnets are usually having two poles that is North Pole and South Pole. It can be of any shape. But the magnet has two poles, that is North Pole and South Pole. Opposite poles of two different magnets usually attract each other and the same poles of any two or more magnets repel each other. So these are the key points to be remembered. First, let us understand the definition of magnets. What is magnet? Children, magnet is an object that has property of attracting metal like iron, steel, nickel and cobalt. Here children, in this image, near the title, you can see a bar-shaped magnet. If you call uh, here straight line magnet as bar magnet, then U-shaped magnet is called as horseshoe uh, magnet, which I have shown you in the here, here in this screen. So U-shaped magnet is known as horseshoe magnet, as it resembles a horseshoe shape. This horseshoe-shaped magnet attracts the nails, which are also made up of materials, usually iron. That means magnet, a magnet is a piece of iron which attracts other metals, metal objects towards it. Before we get into the main concept and the, we will learn the characteristics of magnets, let us have a small introduction about magnets. You might have seen or used magnet at some of the other purposes at your houses, at your buildings or at your school or at many places you have used magnet. But we do not observe sometimes that action is usually being carried out by a magnet, magnetic effect over there. Let's discuss such examples of magnets in our daily life. Children, have you heard of a place called junkyard, which I have shown you on the screen? Or have you ever observed it while going by road? Junkyard is a place where a lot of waste, waste material is usually piled into huge heaps. It is usually located far from public places or outside the city or town. At this place, a crane usually moves towards this heap of junk to separate the waste material. The long hand of the crane lowers a block at the edge of his hand over the heap. Usually, what we think it is, it, it is only taking some waste from the heap. But what actually happens is many pieces of iron objects or the junk or iron sticks or, here, or the junk from the iron uh, stick to the block as it moves. Your children, all metals in the junk get attracted to this block of the crane. Here you can see, yes, like this. Then it usually moves away. This huge block at the edge of the crane hand is that is it is the magnet where all iron objects or the metals are picked up by this metal block which is made up of iron. Sorry, magnet. This metal block is made up of magnet and it is used to attract the metals like iron, the nickel, which are present in the heap of the garbage. Then it separates and these metal pieces are separated from the heap of the junk by using these magnets. It saves a lot of time and it is easy method for separation of metals from these junks. You might have played with magnets knowingly or unknowingly with the objects that carry magnets in them, right? You might stick some fun magnetic stickers with alphabets or emojis or images of images to few iron surfaces like Almira or the doors of the fridge or you might have seen at someone place some someone else place usually also. Children, I 
uh, here I have shown you this uh, image on the screen which have magnets on uh, in it and this because of the magnetic property it is stick to the metal or iron or material that may be uh, uh, made up of that may be almira or maybe a fridge door some most common items that have magnets in them and those we come across for more frequently are first as a pin holder a pin holder has a magnet in it which holds all the pins at one places one place without getting scattered as these pins are made up, made of some metal these can be hold at one place by magnet present in this pin holder so this one this is one such example where magnet is present in our daily life objects we usually come across now next example is some of you might have used this type of pencil box where the lid of this uh, lid fits tightly when it is closed it even without a uh, locking arrangement that is because of a magnet gets hold of this lid do not open and do not allowing uh, that lid to open when it is undisturbed unintentionally thus even you have seen magnets in the speakers and the buffers in sound system are actually based on magnet they work with the help of magnetic system built within it if you observe carefully the fridge door which gets automatically tightly held and not uh, to not escape the cooling to outside is because of magnet present at the lining of its edges of the fridge door they are not so tightly held because a magnetic gasket gasket helps us to freely remove the door against the magnetic field now in your notebook children you have to list few items present at your house which have magnets in it now children we are moving on to the next topic that is what is the story of magnets how magnets were discovered let's learn children around 600 bc years ago there was a shepherd boy who lived in a greek in greek his name was magnus what does the shepherd do a shepherd usually raise sheep and goats and take them around the countryside to for the grazing similarly shepherd here the shepherd uh, which i have just i was just talking about here in the story his name is magnus also used to take his herd of sheep and goats to the nearby green hills for feeding them he used to control his herd of sheep and goats to all to be all together at one place with his stick your children this stick had some uh, had a small piece of iron attached to it at one end so one day while he was on the way while controlling his herd of sheep and goats for the grazing his stick got stuck on a rock on the mountain side it was hard for him to pull that stick and to free from the rock he was truly surprised with this incident he then realized that stick was actually being attracted from the other side where it got attached to it to the rock then he realized that the rock was a natural magnet and it attracted the iron tip of uh, which attracted the iron uh, tip of his stick as this incident took place long long back years ago there is no proof of discovery that the that is that it is the most acceptable story of the discovery of magnets during the ancient times such rocks were given the name magnetite which was named after the shepherd boy name that is magnus who actually discovered it the pre, uh, in the present these uh, the present studies even says that magnetite metal contains iron but few people believe that magnetite was discovered at a place called magnesia so there are many theories like this the actual known fact over years is that the substance that have the property of attracting iron are known as magnets and the story goes on as there are many theories to understand the discovery of magnets here children i am ending this chapter we will continue this chapter in the next class thank you children goodbye